If you're looking for help fixing your Grundig dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Grundig dishwasher error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. C1. The pump out during drain has exceeded two minutes. Clean the air gap. Replace or reposition the hose. Run the disposer to clean it out. If the problem persists, contact service. C2. The total pump out cycle exceeds seven minutes. Press reset to stop the beep. C3. The dishwasher will not drain. Disconnect the power at the circuit breaker for about 30 seconds and then reset the dishwasher. If the problem persists, contact service. C4. Machine filled twice after a power failure. Float switch stuck or failed. Clog, drain or sump. Touch start and then cancel. Reset. Tap on the float cover to unstick the float. This is the plastic cover that looks like an upside down cup in the front left corner of the floor of the dishwasher. Also, check the sump area in the back. Bottom of the tub for debris. It looks like an upside down silverware basket and can become clogged. If the problem persists, contact service. C5. The pump out time is too short. Make sure that the water supply is turned on. Try the same cycle again. Tap on the float cover to unstick the float. This is the plastic cover that looks like an upside down cup in the front left corner of the floor of the dishwasher. C6. Water temperature is too low. The water temperature coming into the dishwasher should be at least 120 degrees F. Run the faucet adjacent to the dishwasher prior to starting the dishwasher to purge any cold water from the line. Adjust the water heater temperature. Don't use the washing machine or take showers when using the dishwasher. Use options on the dishwasher to cause the machine to run longer and thus add more heat. C7. The dishwasher's water temperature sensor circuit has become inoperative. Disconnect the power at the circuit breaker for about 30 seconds and then reset the dishwasher. If the problem persists, contact service. C8. This display indicates that the detergent cup is blocked from opening fully. Remove the obstruction for example, silverware or a pan. Close and latch the door and wait 30 seconds for the cup to open. PF code indicates that there has been a power failure to the dishwasher. Simply select the desired cycle and options. Press the start pad and the dishwasher will function normally. Cup open. The detergent cup has not been closed. It's a reminder to add detergent and latch the cup closed. When the problem occurs the cycle will not start but you can override by pressing the start pad again without opening the door. If this problem persists, contact service. Leak detected. Possible leak is detected. The cycle will be cancelled on models with leak detection. If leak detected is displayed, contact service. 999. Possible leak detected on models with floor protect with alert feature. All others. The unit's control needs to be reset. Dishwasher floor protect. Leak protection feature the dishwasher will not start. Contact service. All others. Reset the control. Dishwasher 999 error code appears in display. H2O. This indicates a low water situation. If H2O only appears during a one hour wash cycle. Schedule service. Feel free to run any other cycle until service is done. If H2O appears during other wash cycles auto sense. Heavy. Normal or light. Then double check that the inlet water hose is not kinked. If neither of the above apply, call for service. PRS indicates the pressure sensor is sending an invalid signal to the control. Cannot start cycle or it will cancel. Most likely this is a harness or sensor issue. Service is recommended.